It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. So what's going on in the news? Did you hear about what happened with Shohei Otani and his interpreter? I don't know who was gambling. Now, this is what we have to dig into. You know, they fired the interpreter. $4.5 million of gambling debt paid off by Shohei. So can we just talk about this and you let me know what your thoughts are? Would you pay off someone's $4.5 million gambling debt? Even if you had, you know, a couple hundred million dollars. Would you give a friend or not a friend or just somebody who worked for you $4.5 million to pay off a gambling debt? And would you do that without any paperwork? Would you do that without anybody knowing? Would you do that and just say, yeah, dude, here you go. I'll make sure I feel bad. You're my buddy. I just want to make sure you get out of this hole. Would you do that? Would Shohai Otani do that? Or would Shohai Otani potentially, just saying, have a little bit of a checkered personal life, and this guy's taking the fall for it, and there's a big windfall for him at the other end of the rainbow, where he, he's on his way down, right? This guy's Mazahura. And perhaps he's like, look, I'll, I'll, take the, I'll take the sword, you know, old school, Japan style. I'm taking it out, the katana. And I'll, I'll, I'll fall on the sword for you, sir. What? Yeah, I'll check my bank account. And one day he's there. Because I don't know anybody who would do that. Especially because you know if you're giving that guy $4.5 million to pay off his gambling debts, you're not helping him. You're enabling him to go and keep gambling. So I don't think... I'm getting I'm just saying this. Let's read the story fully and see what you guys believe. Los Angeles Dodgers have fired Shohei Otani's interpreter... He's a close friend after the player's attorney alleged massive theft from the Japanese star in a case tied to sports gambling. The Dodgers said on Wednesday that Ipai Mitsuhura, who has been a constant presence at Otani's side since the two-way stars moved to the U.S., was no longer working with the team. The Dodgers are aware of media reports and are gathering information. The team can confirm that interpreter Ipai Mitsuhura has been terminated. The team has no further comment at this time. Law firm Burke Brettler LLP, attorneys for Otani, said in a statement, in the course of responding to the recent media inquiries, we discovered that Shohai has been the victim of a massive theft, and we are turning the matter over to the authorities. ESPN reported Wednesday that multiple unnamed sources, Motsuhara's firing came after media questioned his Alleged ties to illegal gambling. Alleged. ESPN reported allegations centered on wire transfers from Otani's account worth at least 4.5 mil. I thought it was 4.5 mil. It's at least. That means it could be 20 million. You don't know. You don't know how much money that was siphoned out of the Otani account. Now, let's just quickly read the, the, the wording here. Allegations centered on wire transfers from Otani's account. So... Who would be able to wa- transfer wires from Otani's account? Who would have access to that information? Who would be able to go into someone who's got millions of dollars and say, I'm just going to wire transfer that out? You're right. This guy, Ipe. It's always the interpreter that has that access, you know? Like, this shouldn't be shocking to anybody that the translator has full access to Otani's bank account and he can just wire things out, you know? Like, it's a no-brainer. I don't know why anybody's even questioning it, you know? Like, you're not going to get an interpreter and just say, hey, access to my entire bank account, everything, all my transactions, go and buy what you want, but I'm going to check. You really shouldn't do that. But here's the information, just so you know, so you can go in and check on me (laughs) and see how I'm doing. So Ipe had that access, guys. Do you see him here? Look at him. This is a guy you give your bank information to so he could wire stuff right there. Trying to look like Neo, the Matrix. So what do you guys think? I want to hear from you. Do you think there's any chance in heck that you or anybody you know would ever give 4.5 mil to a guy 
that looks like that, first of all. You know what I mean? Like, right? And then he's going to go and he's going to spend that money on his gambling debt? Enabling. That's called an enabler. You never do that. And I don't think Shohai would do it either. So I'm pretty, that's how I feel. What are you guys saying here on TikTok? I'm waiting for some answers from you. Do you guys, and you're not seeing this. You should head over to YouTube, TikTok. Head over to YouTube, Rumble, or X. Subscribe. You can see the story over my shoulder. You see this guy's stupid noggin. It's mental, the head. It's mental, that guy's head, right? Sid. It's going to be 15 degrees above today. That's awesome, Sid, because I know it's usually like 5,000 below. Now, if they gamble away their money, it's their fault. That's I, Yeah, Marshall's with us on that over on Twitch, guys. What I'm saying is this. If you are a guy who's got a tele, you know, a, a, a interpreter, and you're not giving him full access to your bank account, including how to wire funds out, 4.5 mil at least, I have to question what kind of human being you are. Do you have a soul? <laughs> ah, here you go, interpreter. I'm going to pay you bare minimum. You're giving him a league minimum. That's why he has that hairdo. Looking like Mo. Three Stooges, you know. But Mo got fired today for gambling improprieties. I, again, I just want to, we're going to read a little further because I have to, I'm pretty sure what they're going to say is that Shohai was like, oh, buddy, I, I feel bad for you. Here you go. Take the 4.5 plus mil and you do what you need to do to get out of that trouble and get a haircut at the same time because that thing is mental, you know. Freaking Mo. Um, so let's just quickly see what's said about that. Otani first said that the player had knowingly transferred the funds to cover the gambling debt of Mutsuhara, Otani's long-term friend and associate. The spokesman organized a 90-minute interview between Mutsuhara and ESPN on Tuesday night, where Mutsuhara explained his side of the story. Let's see what he had to say. He told ESPN that he had incurred the debts betting on the NBA, the NFL, college football, and international soccer, but never on baseball. Which prohibits, which is prohibited by the MLB. Now, he says this about Otani. Obviously, he wasn't very happy and said that he would help me out to make sure I never do this again. Again, enable. I don't think Shohei, who did this, he made his money by hitting home runs, throwing strikeouts, you know, and not on gambling. We don't know. Um, giving you 4.5. You're taking the fall for your friend. You said you guys were friends. Now you're falling on the sword for him. Show high. You can't, he's got a contract, 700 million coming up. You know, you can't put that at risk. We'll give you a couple mil to shut your freaking mouth, Mitsuhara. You know, Mitsuhara's now shutting his mouth after the 30 minute interview he did with ESPN. First, let's get into what he said there. I want everybody to know he decided to pay it off for me as mental. I want everybody to know that Shohai had zero involvement in betting. I mean, the fact that this guy had to come out and starts men mentioning this off the top, like, okay, ready? I want everybody to know that Shohai had zero involvement in betting. I want people to know I did not know this was illegal. I learned my lesson the hard way. I will never do sports betting ever again. Can I just roll back the tape? <laughs> Guys, Otani wasn't happy about it. And then he said he'd make sure he'd never do it again. Paid off, paid off the bill, you know? And then he goes on to say, but I want you guys to know, show how he didn't even know anything about it. No, nothing. No idea. Guys, I didn't even know it was illegal. But I only did it on football, on soccer, on hockey. I did it on, you know, college football. Baseball, no. I didn't do it on baseball. Because that's prohibited. But I didn't even know it was illegal. When something's private, but then you say you didn't know it was illegal, that means you were doing it across the board, buddy. Okay, that's one strike against Mitsuhara. Okay, second one, falling on the sword for your friend with a $700 million contract. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing, Mitsuhara. And you have no pride, no integrity. Your family will be very, very 
disappointed. And they would ask you to chop off at least a finger or two. You have to decide if you honor your family enough to do so. There's a knife over there. Just go ahead and grab it. Mitsuhara. Um, so he came out and he said, Shohai, out of the blue, guys. Shohai had nothing to do with the gambling. I didn't even know it was illegal. But I didn't do baseball. Because I know that that's illegal. Come again? ESPN reported. Oh, listen to this. The spokesperson for Otani disavowed Mitsuhara's account. Do you know why? Because of what I just freaking recognized. That clearly there was more going on here than they're saying. This is a, like a, they call this like the rope dope And you're in there and you're thinking you got him. And at the end you get knocked out by Muhammad Ali. It's happened so many times. ESPN reported that Mitsuhara then changed his story. Wednesday saying that Otani in fact had no knowledge of his gambling debts. And Otani had not transferred money to the bookmaker's associate. What in the freaking hell? ESPN reported that Mitsuhara said that he had, he had been told not to comment on whether or not he'd been accused of theft by Otani, but declined to say by whom. NBC News had contacted the Dodgers, Otani and Mitsuhara overnight seeking further comment. Mitsuhara worked with Otani since his major league debut in 2018. After working for the Red Sox as an interpreter, which he also was gambling over there too, but not on the Red Sox. He met Otani after returning to Japan in 2013. When Otani signed with the Angels in 2017, the team hired Mitsuhara to work as his personal interpreter. ESPN reported that Mitsuhara told the outlet he'd been paid between 300000 and 500000 annually. Guys, that's ridiculous to go out there and just interpret poorly. <laughs> you know, you know he's doing a terrible job of it, right? He's also thieving, betting, taking that three to 500 k and throwing it right into the market and betting and making money against Otani, against baseball. Or Otani's in there with him and they're going in there like, what are you putting on tonight? He's like, I'm going to get 21 strikeouts. Do the over. I, or the under. I don't know what the hell it is. Um... It's already been an eventful week for Otani, become the face of MLB's efforts to build a brand in Asia and one of the sports leading stars. Greeted by legions of adoring fans at Dodgers opening day in Seoul, despite South Korea's long-standing rivalry with Otani's native Japan. There he is, right there, potentially gambling like freak, you know? Like there could be a real issue with this guy. He's yeah, he could throw a strikeout. Yeah, he can hit the ball a mile. But he may be in like a Pete, next Pete Rose. Some people are saying he's like the 2024 Pete Rose. Shohei Pete Rose Atani is like his nickname. Some people just, that's all they're calling him now. Like, Pete, Charlie Hustle, Shohei Hustle. The Shohei Hustle. That guy can move money around, you know, to pay off debts. I'm thinking, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think that there's some money being moved around do you think that this guy thieved it and wired money out of Shohei Otani's account without him knowing? Which sounds like the most ridiculous thing you could ever say. Or is there a chance that Shohei likes to play high lie or something? You know what I mean? And he's into the gambling side of things. And he's like, I got all this money. I don't know what to do with it. Let me put 100K on me losing tonight. Pete Rose. <sighs> Can't get into the hall with that attitude. When you have an addiction like gambling and you are one of the greatest pitchers in baseball history and you're already branded as a no Hall of Famer, you know, no way are you going to the Hoff. Because they didn't let Pete Rose in. Why are they going to let you in? <laughs> you're out there gambling 4.5 mil. Pete Rose was doing chicken, you know, scratch. And he wasn't even gambling on his own team. You know? At least that's what he says when he did the sign of the cross. Pete Rose, most hits of all time, guys. Not in the Hall of Fame. He gambled. Now it's a gambling world. They're all doing it. And, and, and honestly, like, how do you monitor that? How do you stop players from gambling? That's the most ridiculous thing. And you're not going to let Pete Rose in. Like, there's nothing to stop. Yeah, okay, we, have, we signed a document. Anybody could do anything they want. They could go out there and put a bet through a proxy. They could do, are you kidding me? Yeah, Pete Rose was a setup. <laughs> I think Pete Rose got the crap end of the stick for sure. Um, but I, all I know is this. 
You can't stop a guy out there who's some scrub on a baseball team who knows his team's got a bad pitcher, he's pulling up lame or something, to put money on the, on the game through a proxy in order to make some cash on the side. You can't say that someone like Shohei Otani isn't just feeling like he wants to risk it a little because he's, everything's so perfect and he just wants to do something a little bit risque. He's going to go out there and gamble a little. Maybe it's not on baseball. Maybe it's on soccer. Maybe it's on football. Maybe it's on anything else. Maybe it is on baseball. But maybe it is Shohei Otani that did this. And you have to start asking yourself the question, does this guy Mitsuhara have access to his account? It's the real question. And how do you get access to his account? How do you get access, wire access, to someone's account without knowing it? I think most times you have to approve a wire. Like there's, there's, it's not just like you're like, hey, here we go. Like there's, there's a process in, um, within wiring. It's not just like this guy can take it and wire money out of your account. And as I, I mean, like I said, no one gives that information. My wife and I are the only people who have access to my bank account, to our bank account. Shohei Otani doesn't have his interpreter on the bank account access codes and like a pin with a debit card. He and his wife, and he's married now, they have bank accounts. They're the only people, and maybe his financial advisors, who have access and know the bank accounts. And by the way, someone like him has a money guy if $4.5 million disappears and goes towards gambling debt, they know about it first. So this is such a freaking can of horse shit here. Sorry, but it is. And what I think is, if you look and we see a little bit further down the line, we're going to find there's a little bit more going on here. Shohei is involved, and it's going to, it's going to stain his, his uh, reputation going forward, especially now that they're saying he's the face of Asian baseball. They're trying to create an MLB Asia, and... How do you do that if your star is here in America and he's being, you know, prosecuted for something or he's got this stain on him because he did something that everybody else knows you don't do in American sports because of Pete Rose. Because Pete Rose is not in the hall, you don't do it. In fact, Shohei should have said, look, I, I don't know why you're telling me that. You make three to $500,000 a year and you owe them $4.5 million. How do you even get into that debt? That's the other thing you have to start asking yourself. How could a guy who's making three to $500,000 a year be in $4.5 plus million dollars of debt? You can't. No one lets you get that far in the hole without breaking your freaking knees first. So I think we just answered our question. Shohei Otani is absolutely involved in this gambling scheme, paying off $4.5 million in gambling debt. Has to be, because this guy didn't make enough money. He didn't have that money sitting around to be like, okay, I'll keep going in debt, see if I can get out this time. Oh, I'll get you on the next one. I'll get you on the next one. You get your knees broken. They don't keep allowing you to put bets in to the $4.5 million tune. That's when you got a couple hundred million dollars and you're like, I could do it. I could pay it off. And you don't think that you're going to get caught. So you say, Mutsuhara, fall on the sword for me. What do you guys think? Do you agree? I should get credit for that. Because I'm the one who found it first. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we're looking a little closer at this. And you have to start piecing together the, the evidence. So what's the evidence? It's like, okay, you got a guy who's got a $700 million contract. He's got an interpreter that makes three hundred dollars to $500,000 a year. And we're hearing that that interpreter is $4.5 million plus in the hole in gambling debt. And Shohei was just like, I'll pay it off for you. I don't want you to do it anymore, so I'll pay it off for you. It's like ridiculous. Shohei Otani has a gambling problem. You heard it here first. And when it comes out, it's going to be massive. I don't know. And people are going to be pissed off at me for saying this. Show how he's, a, he's the, the model athlete, great athlete. Pete Rose is a great athlete, guys. Pete, Pete Rose is a great batter, great, most hits all time. We're human. Shohei Otani has everything in the world. It's all in his hands. And this, if this is really what's going on, it's all going to be down the toilet. Asia, MLB Asia, who's the new face if you can't get Shohei Otani to be the face? So actually, I'm probably going to get in trouble for even saying this. They're going to pull it down because they need this guy to be a success so badly. They'll never allow that. So what do you guys think about that? I want to hear your impressions. I want to hear your opinion. Do you agree with me? How does a guy who's got three to 500K a year get 4.5 million into debt? You can't. They would never allow it.
You get $4.5 million in debt when you're worth 300 to $500 million. And then they're like, he's good for it. They'll allow you to keep pushing it on if you're Shohei Otani. So here's the thing. I'm forecasting something. And you guys remember this. This just broke today. One day, one day in the future, could be tomorrow, could be next year, could be in 10 years. Remember, when the guy, the whistleblower, maybe it's on the MLB um, Hall of Fame announcement of Shohei Otani in 25 years, there will be a whistleblower who was the bookie who took all of the bets for Shohei Otani through proxy or through whatever, and he'll come out and he'll do a whole story how the book He's going to tell everybody the whole story about how Shohei Otani was gambling the entire time he was a baseball player. You heard it here first. It's guaranteed. Because you can't get $4.5 million if you're an interpreter making $305,000 a year. I just figured that out. I mean, this detective work, guys. Oh, no, we'll allow you to keep going. You guys think if you make $305,000 a year, that means you have $305,000 in the bank? Do you know how much money it costs to live? Like everything costs so much. So let's just, let's just say he's extravagant living and he's got $300,000 a year. That dude could have $50,000 left at the end of the year, $100,000 left because so much goes into living. It costs so much to live in the United States, okay? There's no way any bookie will allow that interpreter to keep doubling down further and further in debt. Oh, now we're over a million bucks? Sure, buddy, keep going. 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. No worries, buddy. Keep going. We know you're good for it. You're an interpreter. And then all of a sudden, you're at 4.5 plus million dollars. Again, the plus is really scary, guys. This could be like a 10, 20, 30 million dollar debt that Shohei Otani got himself into. And he's paid it off. And you start looking at his bank records. And you don't just see these 4.5 million dollars worth of debits. You start seeing something even more troubling going back a year or two into 2018, maybe when he started this entire process of becoming one of the, the faces of baseball. He's a phenomenal baseball player, but he could be a scumbag. We don't know. I would say, I would say that um, there's a better percentage of him being a gambler, better percentage of him being a gambler than not, you know? Again, what do you do when you have all the money in the world and you don't know what to do? You're like, you're trying to find some sort of thrill when you're not on the mound, when you're not at the plate trying to hit a home run, and you've got this big house, all of a sudden it's just kind of like whatever. And then you're trying to find, rebottle that, that energy you felt when all of these amazing things happen in your life as Shohei Otani. And you can't. You're there watching TV at the end of the day. It's like, what do I do here, huh? Well, you know this new thing with sports betting. I'm a fan. I was watching Logan Paul and they have this new thing where they have a betting site. Like these people, they're bored. They are bored when they're not on the field. They're living lives just like you and me. That guy, when he's not on the baseball field, he gets in his car and he drives to the store. He goes, he sits by the pool. He reads a book. He's a human being. Therefore, if you are able to gamble and maybe at per chance from time to time, you're like, you know, I'm going to put a, a bet on X. So could someone like Shohei, it could be like, look, I got nothing that give me that freaking, you can go buy lottery tickets, but he's not doing it for the money. Clearly he's doing it for the thrill and he's terrible at it, right? $4.5 million into the hole. Gosh, almighty. You know, when you got a Shohei Otani deal, Right? You guys know what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.